Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle and I work as a physician associate in acute med. So today I'm going to be talking about quite a difficult topic, but these are the honest reasons why I don't think that you should become a physician associate. Hear me out. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it all together, but I feel like before you apply, you really need to listen to these reasons. And at the end of this video, if you still think that this is right for you, then go for it. But don't ever say that nobody told you because I'm doing it right now. So stick around and see if this is for you. So the first thing that you want to consider is the funding. Now, Health Education England do help with a bursary, but I can assure you right now, it is not enough. You need an extra source of income. So fortunately, before I started my studies, I worked for an IT company in Nottingham, and that was an amazing experience for me in terms of saving. But also, fortunately, and I understand that this is a privilege, my uh, parents are exceptionally supportive, so that is how I managed to get through PA school in terms of funding. But you really need to think about that. So, solutions to this problem are A, apply to a university that is close to home. So maybe you can live at home or you have family close by that you can stay with. So that's an alternative. I think that's the best alternative. But again, everybody's situation is different. So really think about that. Finances is a really big issue. You don't want to make it halfway through and then you're unable to finish because of this. So really think about this before you even apply. The second point is time. Now the course is so intense. When people say this, it is not an exaggeration. It really was the most intense two years of my life. I didn't have much time for anything else that didn't revolve around the study of medicine. So you really need to think about this very carefully. So I'm sure there's a phrase that says something like, no one is ever truly busy. You make time for what's important to you. It really is true. So don't neglect the friendships in your life, the family members that you have. Just tell them that it's nothing personal, but you might not be as present as you were before. But remember, this is only temporary. So hopefully the people around you are understanding. Now, the situations in which applicants have a young family, for instance, uh, we had a colleague of mine, she had very young children while she was on the course, and I can see that, you know, sometimes she'd find it very difficult. <laughs> I can't imagine having to do that with tiny little children. It would have been so difficult, but if she can do it, I'm sure you can too. It's not impossible, but it is rather difficult. So think about that. The relationships in your life, the people that are important to you, your time. Use your time very wisely. The third point I'd like to talk about is dating. Well, when I was in PA school, it was something that was very difficult, but it's still possible. Like I said earlier on, you make time for things that are important to you, and it is important to me, but I didn't think that it was fair on the other person. So for instance, say I was on a date or something and every second that goes by I'm thinking about how much content I could have covered in that time okay that is not cool that is a flaw in my personality that is a personality flaw <laughs> sensational but yeah don't do that to other people it's not cool so really think about whether this is something that you are ready for right now and think about the other person as well an alternative to this is either dating somebody who understands your schedule and knows that you can't always be present just for these two years as you try to attain this goal of yours. Don't be like me. Do better. You know better. So <laughs> dating a university, no matter what course you do, is a whole experience in itself. So you really want to get your priorities in order. The fourth point is applying for jobs. Now, unfortunately, we had physician associate students who would wait until they have their nationals in order to apply for a job. Now, I think this is a terrible idea. The first thing that you should do is as soon as you do your university exams, or even better, be Kanye confident and just do it before your university examinations so that by the time you start your nationals you have a conditional offer this is a really good position to be in because a by going to multiple different interviews you have more experience so that when your dream job does come up you are well prepared win <laughs> so don't wait until your nationals that is really bad advice i don't know who's going around telling people this but stop okay so apply as soon as you can you never know 
and the final point that I'd like to make is do not apply for this course if you do not have thick skin if you are somebody that is so sensitive can't take criticism do not apply for this course the reason why is because you're working around very competitive people and like I said this doesn't always bring out the best in people so definitely be somebody who is teachable but also somebody with a backbone somebody who can stand up for themselves you owe it to yourself so that brings me to the end of my video. I really hope that you can take into consideration everything that I've said. And if you've thought about it and you think that this is the right job for you, after taking everything into consideration, then definitely go for it and welcome to the field. But if you think, hmm, trust me, there are easier ways and more peaceful ways to make money. So <laughs> do that instead. <laughs> Okay, now you can't go around saying that I didn't warn you because I just have. Okay, goodbye.